Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of MATLAB and Simulink tutorial. Today we will study the effect of pure gain, integrator and differential element on a closed loop system. And for this exercise we will follow the given structure where G of S is our plant and is a second order system. And then step by step we will analyze the effect of simple gain and integrator and differential element on a closed loop system. Now we will move to MATLAB for implementation. We will start with the effect of proportional element or simple gain. For implementation, I have already defined the code of the system where first part indicate the normal response of the system where second part is for system with additional gain. Now I will run the code and will analyze the step response for both cases in a single figure. And now we have step response for both cases. And if we compare transients of both responses, we will come to know that the peak time of normal system is about 0.71 seconds where peak time of system with additional gain is about 0.237. So the peak time is reduced and if you compare difference of both responses with step value 1, the system with additional gain have reduced steady state error compared to normal response. But the system with gain have high overshoot compared to normal one. Now we will analyze the second case and in this we will add an integrator and will compare the both responses. Now I will run the code and the step response for both cases will appear for comparison. Now if you compare peak time and settling time, the system with integrator have a slower response because it have a peak time of 2.74 seconds and a settling time of 3.05 seconds where the original system have a peak time of 0.711 seconds and a settling time of 1.06 seconds. So with pure integrator, the response of system has become slow. But if you see the steady state error, the second system have zero steady state error where the original system have a constant steady state error. So adding integrator has reduced the steady state error to zero. Now we will analyze the effect of pure derivative element. And for this I will change the controller part and will run the simulation. And the step response will appear for comparison. We know that the derivative of a constant is zero, so as long transients are appearing, the response of the system is changing, where as the system enters into steady state, the response of the system becomes constant. So during the transients, the response of the system with pure derivative will be changing according to the slope of the response of original system. And in steady state, it will approach to zero. Thanks for watching the video. This was all about today and stay connected for more videos.